Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I made these red and gold marbled faux stone earrings. Everything I'm using in today's video will be listed down below, so let's get started. In my previous stone videos, I used alcohol ink to color my translucent clay, and today I'm gonna to show you that you can just use colored clay if you want. You don't need a lot, a little bit goes a long way, and you still get a pretty rich color. And I've just mixed up three different shades of red here. With my long blade, I'm chopping those up into equal size pieces, pretty small, and then I'm gonna give them a good mix. I'm adding in a little bit of white acrylic paint and I'm gonna mix that in until every piece is coated and let it dry. You wanna make sure it's completely dry because otherwise it can be really gummy and tacky when you slice your cane and then when you roll it out, it can actually cause your slab to crumble. I've got gold mica powder I'm gonna sprinkle on and then top that off with some gold leaf. The final step is a squiggle of bacon bond and then once I mix that up, I'm gonna start squeezing everything together to form my cane. Normally, once I cut my cane into even pieces, I would lay them down onto a really thin piece of translucent clay, but I ran out for this particular time, so I went without. I just slightly overlapped them and then rolled them together before putting them through my pasta machine. I'm going in with my cutters. I know if you've watched my previous videos that I use this long dagger cutter a lot, but I'm currently obsessed with it. So I'm going to look at my whole slab before placing anything down because I wanna make sure I get nice little streaks of gold in there and I wanna maximize what I'm cutting. I baked these at 275 for 30 minutes and then once they were cooled, I'm gonna go over any rough edges with my Dremel. Resin is always optional. You can just see that it does make the colors pop a little bit more, I find, and it brings out the gold especially. And once I've spread that around, I'm going to quickly go over that with my lighter just to pop any bubbles before I throw these in my UV lamp to cure. I'm using E6000 glue to secure my backings. You can stop here, but I always like to add a little layer of resin as well, just for some extra security. And here they are all finished. I went really simple with the hardware for these ones. No extras because they're so beautiful on their own. I just didn't really think they needed them. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any requests for what you'd like to see next, please leave those in the comment section down below. And we'll see you in the next one.